will be using Microsoft PowerPoint to create YouTube Shorts. So let's get started. The first thing I'll do is go to my desktop and open up Microsoft PowerPoint. Once I open up Microsoft PowerPoint, I need to set up my page layout to be the settings that are required for a YouTube Shorts. As you have heard, YouTube Shorts are required to have to be in a vertical format or a portrait form. So this page is not in portrait form and it's not in vertical format. So the first thing you need to do is go to design and choose page setup and make sure where it's saying slides choose portrait and once you choose portrait also here where it says uh, slide sized four, make sure you choose a 16 by 9. So now once you choose 16 by 9 and you put it in a portrait form what will happen is that this 16 by 9 is interchanged or swapped and it becomes a 9 by 16. So what I want you to do is pay attention to this canvas that is here. I want you to notice what I, uh, will happen when I click this OK button. So let me just go right ahead and click OK. So here. So you can see once I click OK, this is my, my screen size. So if I go in full mode, in full mode, this is how my screen will appear. So that's how you know uh, that you are setting up a YouTube short. Okay. I'm sure you've seen some of the videos on YouTube and most of the videos that we see here uh, that look like this whereby you have uh, there's something a dark screen this side and dark screen that side then you have a video in the middle mostly we take them with our phones and once we upload them to YouTube that's how they appear the reason being is those those videos are in vertical or in portrait mode that's why yeah that's one of the requirements for a YouTube shot so now, once you have that one, what you can do, PowerPoint, Microsoft PowerPoint allows us to choose designs for our page. Uh, you can go through all the designs that are available. I love to choose this one. And once I choose this one, what you can do, Microsoft can allow you to add a video, a, a, an image, a slide, a chat, whichever, whatever you want. So what I'll do, just on this page, I'll go right ahead and click new slide so i want to get rid of this first slide so i'll delete this first slide and go to this new slide so now here i'll add a let's say a title so let's say youtube short shorts okay so youtube shorts now we can center this youtube shorts the same way you, you use you center uh text in microsoft so I can do that, we can align them, we can put, place them however you want, it doesn't matter, you can even place them in bold, you can change the text to be how you want the text to appear, it doesn't matter. So if let's say I choose my text and try to change it to this format, you can see it's changing right away, I can have the spelling for YouTube the way I want it. Now here where, uh, where you, I have options. Microsoft PowerPoint gives me options to add an image, to add clip art, to add a video. You can add a smart graphic. You can add a chart. You can add a table. Now, let's say you're short. You want to add a video. And that video, maybe let's say it's, it's not in portrait form. It can be in any, whatever form you, you captured it in or on. But here, let me just go right ahead and choose a video. That I'll add. So let's say, for example, uh, let me find a video I can add. Okay, let's say this one and add it there. So now you can see once I add my video, uh, PowerPoint will shrink the size of that video to fit the section where I can add that video. Now, the problem with that is that if I go into full mode, you see how my video appears. If I even decide to play it, my video. Please welcome like Shania Twain. So, and it is leaving out a lot of. Uh, it is leaving out a lot of uh, space. Now, that is something we don't want. We want our video to take up all this space so that it looks professional. So what you can do is just go right ahead, hold down the control key, and resize your video. Okay. Now, once you resize your video, take note of this part. The way your video appears this side, that's how it will appear on the final version. So if I do that, and maybe let's say... I move this a bit up like that and I move my video like that 
so regardless of whether my video is uh, exceeding this uh, section the only thing that will appear in the final video is what is on the screen size okay as you can see here if i go in full mode let me just show you you see how my video will appear that's how my video will appear and if someone is playing it on youtube it will be please welcome this. okay Tonight. so you can see that's how you add a video now this video that you have added here i can also choose to crop it okay so if i go to video tools and then format i can choose to crop it just here if i choose crop i can delete the section that i don't want like that even this side like that then just click again the crop tool i'll click it like that okay so you can see i have taken out some things i don't want in my video so now once i've done that the next thing we need to do as you recall or as you know uh for a video to be regarded as a youtube short it doesn't not only need to be in portrait form but it also needs to be shorter than 60 seconds and let's just say shorter than 58 seconds because if you create the video around 59 it youtube would you show it as if it's a, a minute long so at least make it less than 60 seconds so now the challenge is that this video is about three minutes long because this is a song so what you need to do while you are on your uh, on your video section or on powerpoint just click on the video and right click so just go to the video and on your video let's say okay so maybe let's say this is the part i want my video to play but now or maybe i don't want you can go play the entire video first of all uh, just go right ahead and click on the video make sure you select it i don't know why okay yeah there it is i don't know why it was not coming up it is bringing me options to move i think not the move to okay yes there now you have to right click once you right click it will bring you these options where you can cut copy or you can paste the things but just below the paste options there is where it's saying trim video okay so i'll choose to trim video and youtube oh sorry on uh, microsoft powerpoint to bring out a trimming uh window where i can trim the video so first thing you need to do you can go right ahead and play the video let's say if i move it like this i want only this part i can trim it to this part only maybe if i want let's say okay only this part i can trim it so that the second so you can see you can even it even shows you the start time which is uh 20 it will start at 20 and end at 34 somewhere there four seconds so if you subtract 20 uh 34 minus 20 it gives you about 14 seconds so i can adjust it a bit depending how how long you want it to be and just click OK, and that is my video is now trimmed. So if I enlarge, let me just go into full screen and play my video so that you see it's now 30 seconds long. So if I go, to So you can see my video is only 30 seconds long and uh, it's less than 30 seconds long and you need to only play that part now here is the final thing you need to do the exporting the video exporting the video that's the, what is remaining because you know Mac, uh, microsoft powerpoint initially is not for videos but we are using it to create a youtube short okay uh, you are creating a video short or a youtube shorts video so now what you need to do is go to file section and choose save as so now when you're saving the powerpoint the name does not matter whatever name you give it let's just say youtube short okay then now here where it's saying save as make sure you choose the windows media video so when you choose that one 
and click the save option now microsoft powerpoint will start creating the video here okay you start creating the video here and once you have to wait for it to finish and once it's done your video is ready and you can go right ahead and up, upload it to youtube as a video shot so if this video has been helpful make sure you hit that like button and comment below if you want me to go into detail let's say maybe creating videos with microsoft powerpoint and other tricks you'd like to see just comment in the comment section below and i'll be sure take the time to reply to all your comments thank you very much